This is Diana Bailey here with the Texas Blockchain Council, and I'm with Roberto, right? Oh, I rolled my R wrong. Roberto Roman. Exactly. With XL Plus. XL Plus International. XL Plus International. Uh, and we're here today at this fantastic conference talking about mining and fun things going on in blockchain. So, Roberto, why don't you give us a little bit of a background about yourself and your company? Yeah, absolutely. Um, XL Plus, we're a, a plasma gasification company. So what we do is we take, um, we gasify, we take pla uh, municipal solid waste and we gasify it, we put it in a, in a vessel and then we convert it into synthetic gas. From that synthetic gas, we can produce green hydrogen, uh, gas to liquid fuels, wow. as well as power. Wow, you know what? That sounds like straight out of Back to the Future. <laughs> well, you know what? It's gasification has been around for decades. Really? And we, uh, yes, it, the science was born out of, uh, actually out of an Austrian physicist, oh. the godfather of plasma physics. He was actually on the team that created plasma torches back in the 70s okay. uh, for NASA. Right. So he wanted to uh, create a technology that would basically uh, take waste and then produce green renewable energy. Okay, uh, interesting. Yeah. So what does that have to do with mining now? Like, I'll, I'll I tell you. Been, go ahead. No, well, um, you know, the thing with, with this uh, wonderful industry is that uh, it takes a lot of power. Right. It takes a lot of energy. Right. And um, we can produce a lot of energy. So our, our project, our product is scalable and it's modular. And unlike uh, solar or wind that's intermittent, Right. We're not, so we have continuous and balanced power. So on those dark, windless nights, you can still uh, feed our gasifier trash and we're gonna produce uh, energy. Wow, so it's almost like you're solving two problems at once, right? Absolutely. In Texas, for example, there's 400 uh, closed or closing landfills. And so we're, in, in the world, it's, there's a problem. One, population yeah, continues to grow. Uh, two, there's trash and garbage and plastic problem throughout the world Everywhere. so and um you know this is a technology that can solve those issues but also produce uh power produce energy produce uh right. fuels that that are clean and green yeah. What, yeah so but why texas so why why are you here at this particular we're, summer we're, we're here because um uh well it's the first texas blockchain council yeah we want to be a part of this uh exciting um uh, industry and space, but also because we're headquartered in Houston. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're a publicly traded company on the OTC market. Okay. And uh, it just, we kind of fell into this space. We actually had a big uh, Bitcoin miner who contacted us in the conversation and said, you guys, you have to come and, and take a look at this industry or this space. Right. And uh, from that day, we, we've just We've been, you know, moving forward. Yeah, absolutely. Following suit. So is this something you guys are already doing? Or I mean, I understand your company's already doing this, but are miners actually utilizing this already? Or are you getting ready to bridge into that? We're getting ready to bridge into that. Okay. We actually have a pilot program started um, with uh, we're going to be taking waste coal uh, out of Pennsylvania and we're going to oh. be doing providing 20 megawatts of power for a pretty well known uh, crypto miner uh, that, that are out there. I'm not at liberty to say at this moment, but we're getting ready to launch with that. Yeah, as it's a good well. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. It's, it's a okay. Really big so, one. so a lot of things happening in the space. W what do you feel like is going to happen in the next few years? Let, let's say this pilot ends up being great and it and it works out well. Yeah. Where do you see that kind of playing into the mining or, or revolutionizing the space? Or? Yeah. Well, you know, what's what's uh, with what we do. Uh, the great thing is because we're portable, and the, and that's the advantage with the miners as well. They're not necessarily, they're constantly looking for that source of power, right. whether it's the wind farms or the solar um, or the hydroelectric, but all that eventually is going to essentially, the, you know, the, the low lying fruit is gonna, I think, slowly kind of disappear. And, and that's where I think technologies, emerging technologies like ours can help fill that, that void and provide the, uh, the power that's needed. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so with all the the chiming going on right now with Elon Musk coming out earlier this year and really bashing Bitcoin for its energy utilization and, and yeah. claiming it's not environmentally friendly, yeah. you kind of you're making a, a different argument to that, right? Well, absolutely. So, we're we're 99 percent uh, emissions free. We're carbon neutral. Uh, what's uh, we're helping to heal Mother Earth. Right. And uh, from personal personal uh, uh, point, I I always want to be attached to a project with purpose. Right. What better purpose than to be able to clean the, uh, the waste that's out there and convert it and turn it into renewable energy. 
And there's a lot too. There's so much. So much ways. Yeah. I mean, but think about the impact of just those two things. So one, you're helping clean the earth of waste and utilizing that into energy. But then at the same time, you're empowering a, a banking or a, a not banking system or to bank the unbanked and free money and liberty. And it's quite an impact. No, it is. And I mean, uh, we have a, a project in India, for example. And that to me is what, um, you know, being able to help communities in other uh, third world, not India, but third world type countries where they don't have the source of power, but they have a, a issue with waste and trash and uh, or they want to get involved with mining and crypto, but they're not, but they don't, you know, it's, it's, it's really a, a very, it's a great marriage. Um, any chance you figured out what to do with those blades from the wind farms yet? Can we turn those into energy? Well, you know what? Um, that that's that's going to be an issue, and it that's is. why we're we go to landfills, so we can actually convert those and all that trash into something that's positive. Wow, that's so amazing! Yeah. What an impact you have. No, it's it's good. Is there anything that you want to leave our our leavers or our leavers our our audience with? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you can find us on XL Plus. Uh, we're a publicly traded company, and uh, we're just here to support uh, the world's waste problem. And, you know, we're an energy that cleans. So looking forward to helping the world out with this ongoing uh, environmental yeah. issue of problems. Well, awesome, Roberto. Thank you for taking the time. Thank we you. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Thank you.